This is Ricardo Suave from Jamaica, and you're watching Sports Talk with Lionfoot TV, the man himself, Lionfoot. Hey! Bless the love and greetings, viewers and subscribers, all the lovers of sports. Welcome to Sports Talk, hosted by Lionfoot. Yes, man, so big up all the lovers of sports, any form of sports. So this is Sports Talk, where we cover sports that is relevant at the time and moment and right now it's world cup yes man so big up all the lovers of football out there all the sports orientated fans them welcome to lion for tv if you haven't have subscribed yet please consider doing so make yourself at home yes so before we get into the world cup reasoning and right now we're in um at the end we've we've come to the end of the first round the first game of each round every team played one game so far so Yes, we are following. Come to Lion Foot TV at the right place and let's the dog gone away. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell. Yeah, man, your support is highly appreciated. Appreciate love. See it? Remember to share the content. And I would like to hear your feedback in the comment section. Which team are you supporting? Which team you think is gonna bring it, bring home the World Cup? Will it be England? Will it be Brazil? Will it be Cristiano Ronaldo, Portugal? Will it be Spain? Can Germany bounce back? Argentina? Can they bounce back? Will they? This is Messi's last World Cup, as he stated. All the fans of football, let me know what you guys know. Which team impressed you so far in the first games? All the teams from Group A to Group H. Which team has caught your eyes? My team, the team that surprised me and caught my eyes is Saudi Arabia. I thought they put on a really good show. Fearless, attacking football, defensive with their heart and soul. And the end product by winning, beating Argentina 2-1. That's one of the surprises of the first round in this Qatar World Cup. England won their first game comfortably 6-2 can they continue that trend what do you think the result is gonna be against usa which is about to play today germany lost to japan i knew japan was gonna grow into the game watching the game i knew japan was gonna grow into the game and i said to myself G genius Genius drinks, big up yourself. I said to him that Japan's gonna win the game. And by the time I left and went back to work, I saw Japan was ahead, 2-1. <laughs> the equalizer, 2-1. You know, so Germany had the, had the chance, but they never played well. A lot of missed passes and not tracking their players and that, you know, and fell asleep on the foot, which is the long ball that the free from the free kicks led to a goal, a winning goal. You know, um, Portugal watched them. They didn't really perform well. A lot of missed passes again, misplaced passes, and even though they they, they won the game, you know, um, the penalty and Ronaldo definitely a penalty. Ronaldo got the touch. Player came in from behind, took him out, and you know Ronaldo is gonna go down in the box. Whereas he know he got the first touch of the ball. That is a very professional, um, smart player. He knows, you know, how to get penalties, which it was a penalties. Penalty, the, the referee got it spot on. That is why the VAR never intervened because it wasn't a clear and obvious error. Now, um, Brazil, I watched Brazil last night. Brazil game, poor first half from Brazil, even though I tipped them to win the World Cup. Brazil or England, you know, but yeah. Um, poor first half, second half they came out and never performed at their best. You know, it's their first game, maybe they're not um, fully in tune yet. So give them the benefit of the doubt, you know. As the, as the, as the, as the stage, group stages progress, they will get better. Not only them, other, other teams will get better. That is why I ask the question, can Argentina bounce back? Can Germany bounce back? You know, um, yeah, but Brazil didn't perform at their best, but they won the game. 
easily, you know. Credit to Ghana by score equalizing. Yeah, but um you know, yeah. Serbia, um Serbia made it hard for Brazil to break them down, but <laughs> you know the man who's on farm and now be scoring for Brazil scored a brilliant goal, a scissors kick, you know? Yeah. And rightly so, he's a good striker. Good striker for Tottenham must be laughing now and say, yes, our striker scored. You know? But I think the game, the league, the World Cup is gonna get more interesting, huh? More interesting. So let me know what you guys think so far. The first round, every each team played one game now. Which team caught your highs? The team that caught my highs is Spain. Spain that played the best football out of every league, all of the teams them in the league. The best football that's played was by Spain. Technically one touch, two touch, typically two touch passes. Two touch passes, three if you have to. And that's the target the coach give them. Two touch, but and made two touch, but made you can make three pass if you have to. Three touch. That's the football they were playing and they demolished. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah man, they demolished their opponent. And for me, so Spain played the best football out of the first all of the team them so far. And Spain is a team that caught my eyes. You know, can they keep up that momentum, that trend, that style of football? They also have some brilliant players in the squad. Such as Brazil, you know. Yeah, England has a, have a great young team as well. Credit to Saka for getting two goals, you know, um, he scored two goals, you know, credit to him, knowing what he experienced at the Euros, missing the penalty and was abused racially and by fans in the stadium and on the social media and it affected him, you know, but to show he, how mentally strong he is, you know, he came back, he took penalties, penalty shot, penalty kick for Arsenal after that stood up, he never shy away, he stood up and he came back to the World Cup and scored two goals so England have a good young squad it's only if they execute it properly, they pick the team properly and you know um, play without fear yeah but let's see, let's see now we're going into the second game England plays face USA today you know the USA they play some good football as well you know, um, attacking technically, they, they have a young squad as well. They got the youngest captain in the World Cup ever to captain World Cup. And I mean, I'm a good team. I'm just need some finishing technique. And yeah, so USA have a good team. Um, Canada. What about Canada? Canada has a good team. I thought it was very harsh on them to lose one nil. You know, um, they played well attacking again. They just need some more confidence in the finishing touch you know final touch stages but them attack pieces in the squad and they defend with their heart and soul so i have followed canada throughout them um world cup qualifications and i i knew they had a good team you know yeah i knew they had a Costa costa rica and all of them canada team is the strongest and i think canada is even stronger than the usa in my opinion you know but let me know what you guys think still now we're into the second game of each of the round. Second second round now, you get me? So let me know what you guys think. That's my view for this sport talk today. I would love to hear your comment in the comment section. Which team you think gonna win? You know, which player caught your high? Which team caught your high? You know what I mean? And yes, don't forget to like and share the content. It's sports talk. See you in the next one. I'm out. Thanks for watching Lion Foot TV.